okay. He wants his season ended. And uh, I'm sure he worked out, thought he was fine, and then the shoulder kept hurting him, and then that's why he decided now to have the surgery. I, I just don't think, personally, that the shoulder was that bad after the season ended. I think this is just, it, it just got worse and worse as each day went by. I'm Matt Wehmeyer with the MLB.com FastCast. According to sources, Washington Nationals outfielder Jason Wirth will undergo right shoulder surgery on Friday, which will put him out of action for between two and three months. The 35-year-old first hurt his shoulder in August when he made a catch at Nationals Park against his former club, the Phillies. Wirth hit 292 with 16 homers and 82 runs driven in last season, and MLB.com Nationals reporter Bill Lassen discusses possible short-term replacements as Wirth recuperates. I don't think they're that concerned. Uh, I think they have, uh, you know, some players that could replace him if possible. I mean, you have Michael Taylor there. He uh, made his debut last year, and he wasn't that bad. He's a great defender. Um, you also have uh, Nate McLeod, and they could also um, make a trade. I mean, it's no secret that the Nationals have interest in Ben Zobris. So anything uh, could happen, but right now I see Taylor as the number one guy in case um, Worth is not ready uh, for opening day. Cardinals general manager John Mozeliak is reportedly considering making a big-name addition to his starting rotation for the 2015 season. Free agent Max Scherzer and left-handers Cole Hamels and David Price are the pitchers on the Redbirds' radar. Amidst age, injury, and inexperienced concerns throughout the current staff. MLB.com analyst Jim Duquette weighs in with whom he believes would be the best fit for the Cardinals' rotation. If you're looking at the ideal person, if it, you know, not counting overall cost and acquisition, giving up prospects, one of the left-handers and probably Cole Hamels would be a good fit. Now his wife is from the area as well, and so that would be a fit. He doesn't have St. Louis on his no trade clause. He's a top of the rotation starter, and really, when you look at their rotation overall, it's very right-handed. The Braves and Angels made a swap on Thursday involving highly touted prospects as the Halos received third baseman Kyle Kubica and right-hander Nate Hyatt, with lefty Ricardo Sanchez heading to Atlanta. The 24-year-old Kubica batted 295 with eight homers and 21 stolen bases in AA this past season, while Hyatt, also 24, had a 2.71 ERA and a 10.4 Ks per nine rate at Class A Advance this season. Meanwhile, Sanchez is just 17 and was signed out of Venezuela two years ago. According to sources, the Baltimore Orioles have signed veteran catcher J.P. Arancibia to a minor league contract with an invitation to spring training. The 29-year-old hit only 177 in 62 games last season for the Rangers, but does have 72 homers in his last four seasons combined. The O's inked Arancibia after losing Nick Hundley to free agency and with starting catcher Matt Weider still on the mend from a season-ending injury in 2014. For more on these stories and for the very latest hot stove activity, keep it locked in to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.